Ever since I was a little kid, I've basically held on to everything that I could get my hands on that was video game related. I was the kid that would walk into Walmart, software, etc., GameStop, and I would see different window clings or posters, different things, and I, I wanted them for my bedroom. So I, I would be the one who would always ask, hey, uh, when you guys throw that out, uh, can you not do that? And instead, uh, here's my phone number, please call me. And, and occasionally people told me no, but oftentimes people were really nice and would, would set them aside for me. And so I have like these really cool Legend of Zelda standees at my grandma's house that I have no room for here, but they're super cool and hopefully someday I'll have a place for them. But I also have a few bins at my grandma's and then some in the basement of just random things. I was digging down there the other day because I remembered that I had a, not a full box, don't worry. This is, this is a box with one individual booster in it. And I bought it just because I was like, you know, someday these are gonna be worth something, just like Pokemon cards. And I'm gonna wanna have one sealed pack. And well, I'm glad I did. And so while I was down there looking for that, I found a few things. This is a uh, NES controller that I made when I was a kid of like knockoff Legos. I think these are Mega Blocks and they're like so poorly put together that like they, it doesn't stay together very well. And it's also missing a bunch on the back. I also found this. This is a bag that uh, my girlfriend, she brought me back some gifts from Nintendo New York when she went there like three years ago. And I kept the bag because I just thought it was sweet. So like this is the kind of stuff that I hold on to. I got this from my buddy Ryan. This is an Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons pin. So we're gonna put, pop that on here. It says, ask me about Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I found those, right? But then I also found this. And I felt like it was worth bringing up. This is a package of Animal Crossing candies. I got these at Mitsuo Marketplace in uh, Chicago. These were released, I'm assuming, around the time of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Maybe they came out after, I'm not sure. But so strangely, um, I ate a bunch of the candies. I actually I actually had two of these. This is an empty package. This one is, has been opened already, um, but I kept some of the candies because I, uh, I'm i just a crazy person. I don't know why I did that. So I thought it'd be fun if I ate some of them on camera because why not? We're stuck at home. I'm hungry. I want some snacks. I'm ZM from Nintendo Life, and today we're going to be eating some... How old are these? six-year-old Animal Crossing New Leaf candies, because why not? So like I said, these were released around the time uh, New Leaf came out, I believe. So on the back here, it says that they were released in, I thought I saw 2012 somewhere. Where did I see that? Oh, right down, well down on the bottom here, it says 2012 Nintendo. So these might've been released in 2012, but maybe they expired in 2014. So maybe they're older than that, I'm not sure. But as you can see on the front, there's tons of writing that I, I can't read. I'm gonna open up Google Translate on my handy phone here and see if I can translate what some of this text says. These actually come with stickers as well. And they're, they're super cool. I keep them in my Animal Crossing Amiibo card binder, but they're, they're thick like Amiibo trading cards, but they have a bunch of different characters on there and they're even numbered. So that's dangerous. Uh, I don't want to try collecting all these, but I might. Uh, I only have two though. I have no number five, which has DJ KK as the front runner on there. And then I have number 39, which has, um, what is it? Uh, Coop, Booker and Coop, I think. So let's see. So here it says, drum roll please, with special animals item stickers. Uh, and then the candy portion says, <laughs> I can't remember this is Hamlet. Of the pets, more. I understand. <laughs> oh, Google Translate. Individual packaging with profile. Okay, so each of the candies have like a profile of who they are or it says on there. What does Nook say? He just, are you, <laughs> Nook's just talking about the money, I think. Um, A40? You? Anyone? Huh? Uh, how are you? I understand. How are I understand? <laughs> he doesn't know how to speak. Four types of candy. What did that just say? I'm sorry? <laughs> Delicious. Delicious apple. What else do we have? I saw this one says peach. That one's spot on. That one's nice easy. Five marks. Good. Can we get the flavor of this one? Ah, nice. Nice, delicious orange, delicious apple. This is the one I want. Yeah, that's cherries. It's cherries. I was worried if it was cherries or lychees. Oh, and then on the back here too. So on the back of the package here, they, they also advertise that you can pull a golden package of candy, but I don't know what that says. Uh, personal possession, 
That doesn't make sense. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough, isn't it? If lucky, it's packaged individually. Well, that doesn't make any sense because they're all packaged individually. Well, I don't know. Hopefully I didn't win like a contest or something because as you know, I've already opened this and there is a gold one in here and it's beautiful. It's probably half the reason why I never ate all these either. Okay, so let's start it out. Let's see what we got. All right, so first up is this little duck guy. He's cherry flavored. Let me give that a shot. I also have a cup of water here that I can uh, cleanse the palate with after I'm done. Oh, mm, this is not looking great. It kind of looks like a little brain. Let's just get right in there so you can see. Mm, delicious. Here it goes. This is the cherry flavor. Oh, it's like all gummy now. Oh, it's just straight up entirely gummy. It's chewy. Ugh. Is it supposed to be like that? Can I swallow this? I'm not going to die, right? It's just like sugar and stuff. Let's see. Ingredients. Sugar, corn syrup, cherry, apple, orange, peach. Hey, there we go. We know it's cherry now. This was distributed by an American company and they put like nutrition fact label on the back here. So that's how I was able to tell the flavors. But um, oh, cherry. So how are you? Mm, it just tastes kind of old. You know, like how everyone has their own like flavor starburst that they really, really enjoy. Like that one, I'd probably give that one to someone else, but not bad. So next up, we have a peach. This is a, uh, this is Harriet, I think her name is. Very fitting, considering she's pink. Um, oh, this one looks more normal. So that's good. It's not like stuck to the plastic. It's not like discolored, like the cherry one was kind of looking a little bit like a brain. This is just straight pink, it's one clear color. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, so the peach stands out a lot more in this one, but it still just tastes kind of old. But the, yeah, the peach is really there. And this one is also hard. Like I'm not, I can't chew it. And I'm not going to either. I'm just gonna spit this one out. Yep, I could live without the peach. If, if we're grading these, if we're, if, we're, if we're rating them, so far the cherry is above the peach. I would skip the peach. Now I know I would probably keep the cherry if it was one or the other. And uh, so we have two more flavors though. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what we got. Hey, this is an orange. I'm pretty sure this was the only orange one in here. And this is, this is like a bull, but he's wearing a nice uh, Guy Fieri. Let's see here. I'm so glad I saved these for, for forever. And look at me, I, I'm like, I'm like trying to open these carefully so I can like save the wrapper still. Like this is proof, the evidence. You, you're seeing it firsthand here. How ridiculous uh, I can be sometimes with these things. I think it's my grandma's fault because she'll save everything. Hi grandma. So this one's pretty normal too. It's just orange. Nothing really that crazy there. Okay, so it's very orange. I also can't chew this one, which is a positive. I really did not want to eat the cherry one. It just melted. It just crumbled. This orange one is definitely my favorite so far. I am a sucker for orange flavored candies. Like this tastes a lot like orange, like crush. It tastes like crush soda. Whew. Man, taking me back. I haven't had a crush in a minute. Maybe, maybe two. No, it's, it's been a while since I have a crush. It definitely has that like artificial orange flavor. But like I said, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of it. I, I dig it. All right. I think that means we only have one left. And that one left should be the apple flavor. It was the one I needed. And this is Porter. Porter the monkey. We're still missing him from New Horizons. I want him to come back. My buddy Tyler is also a big fan of Porter. And back in the day when I was working at the game store, we had a uh, little Animal Crossing plushies and we had one of Porter. And for the longest time, I was trying to convince him to buy this plushie. He wanted to like buy a little like bus and put Porter in the bus. And I always thought that would have been such a cool, like cute little idea, but he never did it. But Tyler, if you see this, you have to do it now. You have no choice. Onto the apple, our final contender. What? This one's like green. It's weird. It's like a yellowish green. It looks like the inside of an apple. That's what it is. It makes sense. It's kind of sour. I swear I'm not gonna make this an ASMR video either. This apple one is very flavorful. See the cherry one, like maybe it was cause the cherry one just crushed in my mouth. I, I couldn't even, I didn't even detect much of a flavor. But the peach one was, was faint. The orange one was very much in my face. 
So the apple one just like it had a, a tiny bit of like sour apple flavor at first. And maybe that was just my brain like thinking it was. But then it felt more natural. It didn't taste so much like American candy, I guess. Where like like the, the orange, the orange one just literally tasted like orange crush. I can't really think of a lot of like apple flavored candies here in America, at least. And these are from Japan. I mean, it makes sense that they went with these flavors because of Animal Crossing. They wanted to stay true to it, but I'm surprised there wasn't a lychee flavor in here. Oh, but then I wanted to show you the special one that was in here is gold and it's Isabel of all of them. So once again, I have no idea what's special about these. If there's just like one gold one in each package, if I want a contest or something though, Nintendo or this Nobel company, please someone hit me up. Let me know what I won. Uh, if I have to trade this in though for a prize, Honestly, this might be a better prize, so I might just keep this. If anyone has any idea what this gold means, let me know. And there you have it. Some really old Animal Crossing New Leaf candy from anywhere from 2012 to 2014. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had any candies like this or if you've ever had any just video game themed candies or anything weird that you've held on to that, you know, you probably shouldn't eat, but you've considered it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, then why don't you go ahead and tell that subscribe button not to eat expired candy and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life. And I, once again, I don't know why I did this, but we'll, we'll see you next time. <laughs>